Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio. These are the two biggest softwares used to get your stream out to the world. But what do these actually do? What is the difference between them? Which is the most intensive for your PC and which is the most customizable? What is best for a brand new streamer and what is the easiest to use? I'm gonna go over all of these questions here in this video and help guide you if you're considering getting to streaming or just considering making the switch between one of these two softwares. As always, if you do enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more of the tips, tricks, and coaching coming out from this channel to help guide you to be a better streamer. So what is OBS Studio and what is Streamlabs OBS and how exactly do they interact and what is the difference between them? Both of these are softwares that you can use to start streaming from. You go in, add your sources, create your scenes and create what you want your stream to look like. Then you hit go live, send it through to your particular platform and you start streaming from there. But there is a difference between OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. OBS Studio is the bare bones of this software. It has no additional features naturally added to it and it is just the bare minimum that you get from this service that you can add the most customization to. OBS is open source, which essentially means that anybody can go in and access the code and start changing it, adding things on, and then upload that as a different version. OBS Studio in itself is the rawest version of that. And then with this, you can add on anything that other people have made, whether it be different plugins, different features, different textures. You can add all of that into your OBS Studio for a different type of experience. But OBS Studio is the rawest format of this software that allows you to start streaming with, and as we'll talk about later, does offer the most customization, even though off the rip, it is the most minimalistic. So then where Streamlabs OBS comes in is essentially this is Streamlabs' take on the OBS Studio format. What Streamlabs OBS is, is essentially they've taken the OBS Studio's raw format and they've added in their own plugins, their own softwares, and their own sort of textured skins so that it looks a little bit more user-friendly for the consumer. The two of these basically do the exact same thing. It's just that Streamlabs OBS comes with its own initial plugins and adaptations to the formula to make it easier for streamers, whereas OBS allows you the most customization of the rip in this bare bones format. So should you use Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio? Well, if you want a really quick, simple answer, if you're a brand new streamer, I recommend Streamlabs OBS. The reason for this is because of its integrated features and natural plugins that come with that particular software, it just makes it much easier for a new streamer. Your alerts are already there and an integrated chat feature is already available, which looks really nice and clean in the Streamlabs OBS. However, if you're looking to do more with plugins or a higher production stream, there's a little less resource intensive then OBS Studio will be the nice simple bare bones that you can use to add all those features into. I am going to now touch on some of the other differences between them such as that customization between the two and the resource intensity of the two. Let's first talk about customization. So as I said OBS Studio offers the most customization as opposed to Streamlabs OBS to an extent. They actually offer different types of customization. OBS Studio offers straight customization with the open source format meaning you can go to anybody's created plugins download them, install them into your OBS and start messing with them. This can do a range of different things from allowing you to have different types of widgets available, such as the chat widget, which should come in pretty standard. It allows you to download plugins such as the Stream Elements plugin. So if you do use Stream Elements for a lot of your alerts, it definitely makes it easier when you download this plugin or it can be a variety of things for some really goofy types of animations, some really interesting transition types, or anything that just requires a little bit more resources from your computer. OBS Studio offers the best way of getting this in. The reason that you can't do this so much with Streamlabs OBS is because what Streamlabs have done with the OBS Studio code is they've changed a lot of things, manipulated a lot of things to add their own plugins work, and not all of those plugins are cooperative with Streamlabs OBS's change in the code. So you've got the open source format from OBS that doesn't have as many clashes with plugins because it is the raw format that they were using to manipulate it with. So in terms of customization, if you really want to do some advanced things with your stream, you want to add a lot of green screens in or anything like that, whilst you can do certain elements with that on Streamlabs OBS, it is better for you to try and do that with OBS Studio just because of the range of customization. But as I said, that doesn't mean the Streamlabs doesn't have its own customization. It just offers it in a slightly different way. Streamlabs OBS is fully customized with all the things you can find available on streamlabs.com. This includes a lot of widgets, alert boxes, donation goals that they have set up with their own tipping service that feeds directly into your stream when using Streamlabs OBS and a bunch of different customizations, including overlays that you can either get for free or buy using their prime service. So in terms of customization, both have their positives and benefits, but again, it depends what you want to do with your stream. If you're a newer streamer, the customization available on Streamlabs OBS is much simpler. It already has the alert system integrated within it. It already has a bunch of different things that are so much easier for you. Whereas OBS Studio offers more things for those advanced people. 
But one of the other big differences between Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio is the amount of resources that your computer takes to run it. Now Streamlabs OBS is a little bit more resource intensive on your PC than OBS Studio, mostly due to all the plugins and additional features that are added onto the software. Sometimes this can cause a few issues with the games you're running, for example Apex Legends, if you're on a single PC setup, can be pretty difficult to run unless you run Streamlabs OBS in administrator mode. If you do run Streamlabs OBS in administrator mode, this usually resolves a lot of the issues you have with frame drops or crashing of Streamlabs, and overall it's not usually that much of an issue if your PC is good enough to handle it. I will say that OBS Studio, because it is a little bit more raw and basic in nature, does have a lot less issues with these sort of things than Streamlabs OBS. So if you don't have a very good PC and you think you're gonna be struggling to run a stream because of the resources of your computer, maybe switch to OBS just to try and diminish a few of those issues because although it's not as simple and user-friendly as Streamlabs OBS, you'll still be able to do the same stuff as of actually streaming. If you are struggling to make this decision between Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio, I'm gonna make it pretty simple. Say, if you're a brand new streamer, I really, really recommend you going with Streamlabs OBS. I think it's the most simple version. It offers you a lot already built into its system that will save you a lot of time later. It has built-in alerts, built-in donos, built-in every function that you might want. The only reason I would really recommend you going over to OBS Studio is if you're wanting to do a lot of funky things to your stream, as I keep saying, a lot more customization, a lot of the additional plugins, or anything that's particularly resource intensive. So if you're a brand new streamer, stick with Streamlabs OBS. It's gonna be the best user-friendly format for you. And its chat function with its built-in chat plugin is way, way easier to read if you're starting to get into streaming. I have used both for different reasons. I personally choose to use Streamlabs OBS for the majority of my streams, but I have used OBS Studio before when I've streamed on other people's accounts. For example, uh, a game I used to play for Rogue Company had me stream on their official account. And so I had to use a stream key and that was only available through OBS Studio and different productions that I've done for casting and things have used OBS Studio as their source as opposed to Streamlabs OBS. So if you're getting into big productions and things, again, the more complicated side of using streaming softwares, then OBS Studio is the way. But for a brand new streamer, for the most user-friendly experience for you guys to just stop all the hassle of streaming and stop putting barriers in the way of you streaming, stick with Streamlabs OBS. Okay, guys, that takes us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy, Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you can see more of the content coming out from Himmy about streaming tips, tricks, and coaching, which will soon be available as we move throughout this channel. If you want to see more content though, click some of the videos here on the screen and it'll take you through more guides on how you can improve your stream to be a better and more successful streamer. <laughs>